more of a relaxed video. I was going to film something else, but I just wasn't feeling it, so I'm filming today's video instead, and it is how I store and organize my makeup collection. I recently had to downsize my makeup collection and just really go through everything because I am moving next week, so I thought I would show you guys how I've been storing all my makeup and just keeping it organized. I had to get rid of a lot of things and just really sort through all of my makeup, which needed to be done anyway because I had a lot of stuff that needed to be thrown away. Um, so this was really good. I have a pretty small collection, but it's just right for me. I don't need too much um, because I use everything I have. So yeah, let me show you how I organize it. Okay, so this first drawer has all of my eye stuff in the top drawer, and then this drawer has all of my lippies. So everything for eyes is in here. I have um, things from Skin, things from Benefit, um, like Maybelline eye pencil, and I have like this Dior mascara, which is amazing. And then this is one of my favorite. This is the Jordana eyeliner which is only a dollar at Walgreens so this is amazing and then I just have some other um, non-liquid eyeliners another mascara and then this is a nude liner and like my eyebrow pencil from Rimmel and my eyelid primer right here so yeah just a bunch of stuff like that all in here oh my be a bombshell mascara so that's what I have in here, and it all fits perfectly in this little drawer. So that's the eye drawer. Then for the lippy drawer on the bottom, um, I don't have a lot in here just because I have to keep it small for it to fit. Um, but I do have way more like in my purse and then on my other one over here that I'll show you. But in here, I just have... This by Kate Moss. I love this red. It is just so gorgeous. So all of the um, Kate Moss lipsticks by uh, Rimmel are just, I love them. And then I have, this just came in an Ipsy bag. This is by Elizabeth Mott and I actually use this on my lips and it is amazing. So if you got this in your Ipsy bag, you know what I'm talking about. And then this is just an older lipstick from Maybelline. This is just a really berry color, um, really nice for fall, so I'm excited to use that since fall is coming. This is a lip gloss by Julep, which is so pretty. I really love using that. And then I also have this NYX Butter Gloss, which is really, really nice. I like to wear this in videos just to give my lips a pop of pink. This, of course, is by Revlon and it's a matte balm. These are all just so amazing. I love this. And then these are also some of my favorites. These are the Rimmel Lip Lacquers. And oh my gosh, I have I think three or four other ones of these in all the colors. And this is just such an amazing red. It is Big Bang. But yeah, these are amazing. They're stains and lipsticks and lip glosses all in one. So Definitely get these if you are looking for a new one. That is everything in these little drawers. I got this from TJ Maxx for about, I think it was eight or nine dollars. So I just thought that was really perfect. And I love how it's see-through and you can see everything in it. So yeah. Next, I have this bigger one right here holding a lot of stuff. Um, like this is just a random thing from Ulta to sharpen eyeliners and things. I have my favorite e.l.f. Kabuki brush, which I just swear by. This is amazing. It's so dense and soft, and it's only $3. I have this that came in my Ipsy bag, this You're the Balm, and it is so, so nice. It's really creamy, and I don't know. I usually don't like lip balms in this kind of case, but I love this. And then I have like some bronzers right here, my CoverGirl, Benefit, um, and then these spaces are for lippies, but I only have three in here. This one's by Mirabella. It's like a really pearly pink, so I really like that. Here's another pink from Revlon, and then also another Kate Moss. 
So I just have those three there. And then back here, I have my powder foundation, which it's broken, but it's by Studio Gear. But I still use it because I haven't even hit pan. The lid just kind of comes off. And then I have my e.l.f. Uh, contouring blush and bronzer little thing in here. And then over here I have foundations um, or face things. Like this is an exfoliant and this is a pore refiner. Then I have my Revlon Nearly Naked Press Powder in 010, which is just the best. You can use it for a foundation or for a powder. And then I have a little Clinique mirror back here. And then just my favorite um, liquid foundations that I always use. And this one, of course, that my fiance got me. So that's everything on the top. And again, I like how you can see everything and how everything is clear. I just think that looks really cool. And then I have this one drawer right here for all of my eyeshadows, which again, I had a lot more makeup than this, you guys, but I had to really just go with the things that I absolutely wanted because I'm moving into an apartment with my fiance. So I had to really get rid of a lot of stuff, but um, there's this palette from Cargo. This my fiance got for me, and I love the colors. And then he also got me a lot of these color tattoos as well. And this my friend Annie recommended to me, and it is literally the best eyeshadow ever for blue eyes. It is just amazing. It's the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Am in Amber Rush, and I this color is just gorgeous. This is from Sephora. I think this came in an Ipsy bag and it's just a really nice um, golden shimmery eyeshadow kind of like to top on things. And then I have this Wet n Wild palette which is my favorite by them because the colors just work really well for me. So yeah that one's sweet as candy. And that is pretty much... Oh, it does want to close. That is pretty much all of my makeup. I have everything here and then here. I also have like um, brushes somewhere else and more lippies and things and I carry things in my purse like more eyeliners and stuff like that but this is just what's on display. I'm pretty proud of myself for uh, organizing all of it to fit in just these two because you know, I had to get rid of a lot because I had so many old, you know, dusty mascaras and everything. I know a lot of people have way more impressive collections than me. <laughs> this thing is like falling apart. But this is honestly what works for me and I kind of like the idea of having such a small collection because, I don't know, I just, I hate when I have too much and then I'm overwhelmed and I never use anything because I don't even know what I have. So. With these, I can see everything that I have in them and kind of keep track of everything. All this is kind of what I love to use the most, and it just suits me perfectly. So, yeah, that is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and oh, and I got this container from TJ Maxx as well. I think it was 15 or 20 so that is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.